Hopefully we can get through this. It is stories. Of course it's stories, but it sounds like they're definitely taking the stories seriously and they're definitely looking into this from what the commissioner said. So here is La Trapeze, New York City. Here's an actual article from 2009 sampling the delicacies at the La Trapeze Swingers Club. I wonder if Rex Hewerman was there. They get buzzed in. My bag bulging with swinger club supplies. I enlisted a friend and headed over to 17 East 27th Street on a Saturday night. Club rules stipulate that single men are not allowed inside. So as we neared the door, a guy stepped over to us. Do you want any company? He asked. No, I replied as we were buzzed in. We're just here for the hot buffet. We each paid our $30, and then the cashier delivered some bad news. No hot buffet tonight. When I expressed dismay, the bastard just chuckled, counting my money. Crestfallen, we decided to go in anyway. After all, we'd bought the socks. The cashier then issued us locker room passes with names on them. My friend was thrilled with her trashy new name, Crystal. I was stuck with Sarah. This is freaky, this is freaky stuff. It didn't seem like an occasion to insist on the proper Finnish spelling. The lounge itself was low rent, libertine paradise. There was a sign proudly proclaiming that Le Trapeze was established in 1980, which may as well have been the last time it was decorated. There were plastic lamps in the shape of nude female torsos that flashed green and pink, dusty fake plants, mirrored erotica, and wall-to-wall raspberry-colored carpet. Why anyone would elect to have carpet, like, have carpet in a place like this is a mystery. Gross. Turning the corner, we spied the dance area, which consisted of a smudged brass stripper's pole, a disco ball, and a pasty white naked couple. In a moment of transgression, they'd even doffed their tube socks, rolling around on a black vinyl couch. The sight shocked me. For some reason, I'd expected the act actual sexual activity to be separated from general view, quarantine in what is referred to as the mat room. Oh my God, do I wanna go on? Do I wanna go, it sounds like a movie. Help me. <laughs> DC. I love you guys. I love you guys. I couldn't do this with any other crowd. Let me tell you. Turning the corner. <laughs> My dog just grunted. Turning the corner, we spied the dance area, which consisted of a smudged brass stripper's pole. Oh, wait. I already read that. Discombobulated, Crystal and I headed for the bathroom. Big mistake. The bathroom is connected to the locker room, which is next to the mat room, all of which were separated by only a few straggly, scraggly curtains. Giving us a sudden glimpse into some of the muscle-bound champ, enthusiastically pounding away at an unseen partner. Gross, we scrambled off to the dining area, a collection of tables and vinyl chairs. The empty hot buffet bins, buffet bins sat sadly in the corner near a wooden counter festooned with red curtains and fake flowers. Above the counter, someone had placed a sign, please cover Laurel, lower torso at food bar. I guess that sounds more official than keep your dick out of the tater tots. <laughs> keep your dick out of the tater tots. Keep your dick out of the tater tots. It turned out there were a few meager food offerings after all. A, a bespectacled bald man in saggy white underpants was piling his styrofoam plate high with potato chips. <sighs> Perhaps all was not lost. I'll just put on my tube th socks, I thought, and review the food that is available. 
As Crystal loaded up her plate with everything on offer, I made my way for the coffee, sidestepping the decaffeinated Folgers crystals for the hard stuff. I grabbed my plate of my own and sat down to eat my way through entire menu, scribbling the result assessment. He had Tostitos corn chips, and he says, Arriba, the Mexican flavor transports me to Tijuana. Tijuana, muy bueno. Ruffles potato chip. The hearty crunch and salty deliciousness is evocative of a lazy summer afternoon. Barbecue chip. The delicate barbecue flavor dances on my tongue like a southern belle at a county fair. Oreo. This sublime medley of crispy chocolate cookie and soft vanilla filling is a delightful juxtaposition of textures and flavors. Wint O Green Lifesaver. Oh, those are a must in the Swingers Club. A refreshing breath, breath enhancing conclusion to the meal. Minty chalky. As I conducted as I was conducting my review, I noticed a guy on a nearby couch playing with his limp penis with one hand while eating Tostitos with the other. Oh my god. A sleepy nude woman next to him was gazing at the hardcore porn on the monitors like she was at home watching a Law & Order rerun, munching on a bowl of ruffles. Another woman was sitting with her legs splayed open as if airing herself out. None of them were wearing tube socks. The manager walked over. We probably looked a little down, slumped at our table, fully clothed, sipping warm Kool-Aid mixed with vodka. Kool-Aid. Cloyingly sweet, artificial strawberry overtones, unpleasant aftertaste. Eyeing the white tube socks I'd pulled up to my knees, he spoke in a professional tone. Would you ladies like some fresh pop popcorn? This is a two women. Why, thank you. Very kind. That's very kind, I replied, channeling Scarlett O'Hara. Buoyed by his generosity, I decided to brave the bathroom, where I heard some guys shout out to the woman in the next stall. Hey, Ange, you in there? Yeah, I'm peeing. I'm trying to decide if I should go naked or not. Oh, hey, Ange, they got any rubbers in there? On my way back, I peered into the dance area where the Jackson 5's ABC was playing. A mustachioed man was swinging his dick back and forth between two blondes who each caught it in her mouth and turned and sucked on it to the beat. The trio's choreography was admirable. Upon my return to the table, the manager presented us with a steaming package of microwave popcorn. Popcorn, hot, not too salty, not too greasy, reminiscent of an office break room. Almost immediately, a topless woman bounced over, holding out a cup. Word around the club is that you two have fresh popcorn. We poured some in her cup, and soon other swingers flocked to our table with their cups. Watching popcorn spilling all over bare boobs as, we, as people greedily shovel, shoveled it into their mouths. I was reminded of the Le, Le Trapeze website, which claims, quote, New York City swingers are the most glamorous in the world. Perhaps if you're Orville Redenbacher. The popcorn was an icebreaker, sort of like at the first Thanksgiving. I asked a woman in a red kimono, what happened to the hot buffet? Oh, she sighed. The health department made them remove it. This prompted everyone to begin waxing nostalgic about the good old days of spaghetti and chicken fingers. We gazed at the empty buffet, buffet bins wistfully. They looked a bit like the abandoned steel mills of Youngstown, Ohio, still standing yet defunct, <laughs> whispering memories of a bygone prosperity. At this point, I spotted a young guy strutting around with a towel hanging off his heart on. No one else seemed to find it funny. <laughs> it occurred to me that this might be something he did all the time, probably gets old. Just then, a dark-haired man shuffled over to us. Ooh, dark haired he'd taken a liking to crystal and invited her to stop by his fried chicken restaurant in queens it's good chicken he said you're really beautiful her face froze i quickly swooped in we're here together i said oh yeah he replied with a hint of defiance i slammed my tube socked foot up on the chair next to crystal marking my territory 
running his fingers through her hair, he looked at me and said, you're lucky. She's so beautiful. Then he turned and walked off to the mat room. Ew. Can you believe that asshole? I shrieked, running his greasy fried chicken hut fingers through your hair. My outburst attracted the attention of a cranky swinger in rimless glasses who slid down next to us. Stay away from that guy, he said. He's a slime ball. He popped a lifesaver. This is a bad night to be here, he continued. It's 90% paid women who get paid just to come into the club. Then the guy goes off and does his own thing. They're the bottom of the barrel. Like that woman over there, she's paid. He gestured in the direction of an immensely overweight woman spilling out of her white negligee who was eating fistfuls of Oreos. I thought it would be a wise business plan on her part to get paid by the pound. Then I felt bad. These people tonight have no respect, he continued. They don't follow the rules. He pointed down at his feet like wearing socks. Hallelujah. Someone finally wearing tube socks. Hold on, guys. I have to take this call. Hold on. Hold on. Be right back. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry to interrupt this this story. Okay, so let's continue. Um, hallelujah. Finally, someone wearing tube socks. I was about to ask a follow up question when a sweaty swigger couple sat down behind beside us. Yeah, said the male half of the couple. I call those people who bring in paid ex escorts swinglers. The cranky swinger got up and left without warning. I thought maybe he didn't like anyone tonight. The male shrugged and said swinging is like yoga. It, appear, it looks weird from the outside, but it's great when you're in the flow. The female leaned in. That's where we met at his yoga class. 2.15 a.m., the smell of pizza wafted through, and soon the staff started putting out boxes. I grabbed a couple of slices. Pizza, a whiff of oregano in the tomato sauce, tasty dough. Suddenly, there was a stampede of half-naked people toward the counter. I imagine them mid-orgasm saying, wait, did someone order pizza? Before long, the fried chicken hut swinger, the towel dangling from his hard-on swinger, the optimist swinger, and the red coat kimono swinger rejoined the buffet crowd. Everyone seemed really happy there was pizza. After that, the energy began to lag. Crystal and I decided to call it a night. I realize it's true what they say. There are no strangers here, just naked people I haven't met. As La Trapeza's door clicked shut behind us, a voice rang out. Hey, Ange, you want pepperoni or sausage pizza? I don't even know what to say about the story we just read, but let's look at some images now. Now that we have um, kind of a visual from that story. It looks like something out of a freaking movie. This is right by Rex Huerman's office, too. FYI. This is the club. Elite World of S Secret Sex Clubs. Look at. Oh, my God. I want to see inside this place. La Trapeze right here. Let's take a gander. Mark Jen Jen Jenkin <laughs> Mark Jenkinson photography. This is inside. Oh, this is all his photos. Hold on. I don't want to do that. We'll just look at it here. This is inside the club. Mm 
I am I am shooketh. That's London. There's not many photos. That's the only one I can find inside. Let's see. Let's go to their website. Let's see what their website says. Wednesday with J. Let's go to their website. They have a Yelp page. Marie B. I started here in my early 20s and this environment opened my eyes to so many things. The club is small. This is in 2013, a review from Houston, Texas, Veronica L. We paid over $100 as a couple and that was insane for us. The social space was very tiny. You had seating by the food and some seating by the tiny dance floor with the broke stripper pole, but that was it. The play areas were horrible. The main hall had rooms on both sides with mattresses on the floor. And you have a time limit in there because friends we were with were interrupted while they were in one. They had an upstairs which had one tiny stairwell and down which lead you to an attic basically with rooms separated by wooden walls that were about waist high but if you're over six feet tall you will be slouched up there so rex probably did not go up there and if you're over 100 pounds you'll be in a tight squeeze unless you're alone their red room group room wasn't bad compared to the rest of the club but there were single guys in the corners jacking off by themselves to top it all off the manager tried to physically fight my husband because he didn't like what we had to say when we were asked what we thought of the club but the food was great. We just say we paid for dinner and breakfast, which was a steal, LOL. We literally have nothing good to say about this club. Wait, they had great food. That's it. Oh, my God. Jeff T. from Brooklyn has been going there for six years as of 2016. He, he's very picky and has high f standards, and he finds hot couples to play with. On a good night, I get to play with four to five couples. Oh, Joe Ebbs says, if you have a fetish for fat, nasty people, this is your spot. But be forewarned, some sites cannot be unseen. Oh, my God. Look at David S. New York, New York. Look at his review. <gasps> Look how long it is. All he would have to do, this lawyer could find these people that all went here. Look at simply disgusting and dirty. Stay away from this dump. It's a downer having the creepy guy, good looking or not, following you around. As you move around the place, weird. Ugh, smelled vaguely of sweat and tears. I like this place, says Charles D. from Rego Park, New York. In 2010, he says, I've gone probably 50 times, starting in 85. I used to go to Plato's retreat, but it's no longer around. <gasps> La Trapeze is couples only with couples ranging in age from 30 to 60. It has a large orgy room, S several semi-private room. The action is nonstop. See a couple you like laid lie down next to them and gently start stroking the woman's leg, arm, whatever. And if she doesn't say no, go further and further. Blech. Blech. The guy looked at me and said, do you want to bang my wife? I said, yes. And I went in and had a ton of fun. That happens quite often. Blech. God, I think I just vomited in my mouth. The real deal.
It's survived vice squads, the AIDS epidemic, and the recession. It can't afford to renew its lease. That's why. That's why it closed. They couldn't afford to renew their lease. Oh, guys. Oh, let me come back to you. Let me come back. Look at the right mattress matters. I'm already getting mattress ads. Holy. This is outside the club. Guys. Guys. <laughs> I mean, call me naive, but holy, I am learning so much following true crime. Come try our savory sandwiches. These are a couple people at the club. Weird. This is the weirdest shiz. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, shiz. The building that housed the legendary Swingers Club is back in business in 2017. Is it closed again? The Ford, oh, listen to this. The couple's only sex club that opened in 1980. It was bought and gutted by Centiar Properties who found swinging souvenirs inside. We're told they uncovered a huge hot tub out back, which the club had been ordered to fill with cement after Rudy Giuliani became mayor. Rumor was that guests could eat while naked, but they had to behave around the buffet. The developers found a sign above the counter that read, please cover your lower torso in the bar. I wonder what it is now. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> this is crazy stuff. I mean, this made news. Groupon? They had a Groupon for this place? Shut up. For a mouth-watering meal you're sure to love, La Trapeze in New York is the place to be. They even tried Groupons. DJ fans will appreciate La Trapeze's frequent live mixes. The noise level can sometimes reach near deafening levels, so save your conversations for another night. What? <laughs> A Groupon? They tried to save their business. They opened in 2020 with COVID restrictions. Oh. An underground Manhattan Swingers Club says it's worked out all the kinks. No pun intended. Amid COVID-19 is reopening. Although the required safety measures could kill any libido. Temperature checks at the door and constantly cleaning and disinfecting throughout the night Ew. we will be operating at 50 percent capacity there will be hand sanitizer mugs and gloves the club touted its new tuesday cock and tail event come prance around in nothing or less oh man the club's lineup was anything goes wednesday Big O Thursday, Scandalous Debauchery Friday, and Swinging Kink Saturday. The club does not openly advertise its exact location. For last-minute RSVPs, or if you have a problem finding your location, text. Oh, my God. I cannot. Oh. I mean... What? Couples International. Oh my God! I'm gonna get swinger shit now. Stop! La Trapeze is the mecca of sex clubs in New York. It has been around since the 80s and is solely reserved for couples and single women. 
This discreet club also has a secret door from the inside of the apartment building next door. Bring your favorite bottle of booze and take advantage of the and take the atmosphere and have fun. Okay, so where is Rex Hewerman's office? Do we know? Because I want to see how far this is. I bet you he went there all the freaking time. Sick. <laughs> Bunati. Spaghetti. I know. I know. Katie says, I bet Rex knew Epstein he had to. He was very, very heavily into this crap. Ew. Uh. Okay, let me show you this cop that he that um John Ray, that lawyer, was talking about that he said was like cross dressing and stuff. <laughs> 